Okay. Um, let me get the list up. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. Game Guy Color. Welcome back to another crazy interview. I have no idea why the hell I keep doing these, but hey, I guess it's better than just doing another generic Let's Play video. Anyway, I am here with my good old friend, Mr. E e -S -P no Noza X. I I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Mr. E -S Mr. How about you say it? Because I can never pronounce anything correctly. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Mr. ESPNOza X, your Emerald L Peer here on YouTube. Alrighty, there we go. Um, if anybody saw the uh, Injustice video we did a couple weeks back, though, you will know that he made a starring role in it. I mean, hell, you were the one who introduced us, though, in the video. Yeah, I was really surprised that you got me to introduce the thing instead of you. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, might as well, though. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I consider myself to be more of a guess, more of a uh, Ah, shoot, what's the word I'm thinking of? I guess more inclusive. Supporting, yeah, supporting you cast. Yeah, yeah, supporting cast. I mean, I rarely make videos. I prefer to make videos with other people, so I would rather, you know, give the give them the opportunity to go ahead. I mean, that's part of the reason why I'm kind of making this series, but, but oh well. Anyway, <laughs> um, on, to the, on to the interview. Okay, so the first question I have for you is... What is your main appeal when it comes down to fighting games or vi or video games as a whole? Like, what what appeals to you the most, though? And what do you look forward to and most when just playing any video game? Um, the most I've always looked forward to in playing a video game is pretty much well. I mean, I've I've been known to be doing like a lot of let's plays on fighting games, you know, because fighting games is like my baby. You know, I'm always, you know, I. Uh, Especially Street Fighter, that's my baby right there. Um, I used to uh, play professionally um, when I was like back in the 90s, back when I was a kid. I remember I won like five local Street Fighter tournaments on my local arcade when I used to live at and everything. Um, the most I appeal about, you know, fighting games in general is, you know, the characters, you know. Even though people say, oh, fighting game with, you know, character or backstory and all that stuff, that's impossible. Well, you know, they have, they're doing that now this year with, you know, Mortal Kombat. Well, Mortal Kombat's pretty much starting it off and then you got Injustice, their story mode. And then Street Fighter V had a story mode and stuff, which was, you know, okay, you know. And then, of course, they had Marvel's Capcom Infinite story mode and, you know, just, you know, the story, like, looking forward to, like, you know, all the characters, you know, in a fighting game pretty much. You know, so I think what also appeals to me on like video games in general is the characters. You know, the main character, you know, the people that are following that main character pretty much, and you know, the villain that goes up against that main character, you know? That appeals oh. to me, like just character wise, you know, like it's this character strong or is this character, you know, just a really generic character, you know? Who may never know? So I'll just get to pick up this game, probably rent it on a red box or something, you know? I'll give it a try, you know? All right, so it seems like you're very interested when it comes down to characterization, though, and just see how the characters grow through this journey, in a way. Yes, yeah. Like, I think uh, I remember uh, Bioshock, the Bioshock Infinite se uh, Bioshock series. Um, I never played the first and second one, but after, you know, watching, like, multiple commercials and videos about uh, Bioshock Infinite, you know, I've always just been really interested in Booker DeWitt, you know. Booker DeWitt's that really strong character, you know, trying to find himself, you know, after, you know, some dudes just, you know, got his daughter, you know, he's a heavy drinker, and then, you know, when he found, when he's trying to find, you know, his daughter and everything, and then when he found, it's just, you know what I mean? You know, and then he goes up again, he just pretty much, like, I don't know, out of nowhere, there's like a city in the sky, and then it's just the villain he goes up against is just really interesting, you know? I've always been interested in Booker DeWitt, you know? And I think that's why, you know, I've always been interested in characterization because of Booker DeWitt. Ah, all right. I see. Okay, so overall, though, um, I see what you mean, though. It seems more like just taking, um, hey, this is a weird way of putting it, just taking your character, which is essentially a tool, well, maybe, not, okay, maybe not, that's not the best way to describe it, but essentially it's just taking this this idea and just putting them putting putting it through the situation and just to see how it goes through in a way kind of like kind of like watching a reaction in a way just seeing how yeah. it goes through yeah exactly you know i remember uh one part where you know they first introduce uh liz to booker to, to booker you know and you know 
after playing a couple like hours, you know, at the beginning of it, I knew that, oh yeah, Liz is a really strong supportive character, you know. When you're in danger, she, you know, grabs ammo and tosses it to you, or if you need coins, you know, in order to buy you power-ups and everything. You know, she she got your back, she'll do that for you, you know? All That's right. what I always look forward to, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Hmm, that's an interesting way to put it. Okay, um, next question is, this one actually works out very well for me considering the topic, but um, when it comes down to um, big, when it comes down to bigger games, what is a spe what specific crossover slash guest character would you love to see? Well, crossover. Um, if it was like a Street Fighter game, or you know, kind of like a Mortal Kombat game, I always look forward to them. You know, having the Street Fighter characters, you know, crossing over Mortal Kombat, even though. Um, even though uh, Capcom's already said that, you know, they don't want to cross over with Mortal Kombat because, you know, they're afraid of their baby Ryu getting uh, beheaded by Sub-Zero or Scorpion, you know. But it could just work so definitely well, you know, because, you know, all, like, just think about it. Like, you, you, you we, the reaction video we, we did for Injustice 2, you know, with the, when they introduced the Ninja Turtles and everything, that mm -hmm. was just a strong moment. And then now that they introduced that character from Final Fantasy XV for Tekken 7, and we got Keith Howard from, uh, you know, Fighters crossing over to Tekken as well. And, you know, it's just, it's a year for crossovers. And, you know, I just, the one crossover I'm always looking forward to is Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat, you know. It needs to happen, you know. It's about that time that it needs to happen, even though, you know, Capcom doesn't want to do it, you know. Even though, like, Ed Boon, the creator of Mortal Kombat, does want to do it, you know, they just, they need, they need some, you know, agreement right now because, you know, it's the it's going to be the year of the crossover next year and they really need to work together. Hey, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if Marvel and DC had a fighting game, you know, Marvel versus <laughs> DC. That would be really interesting, too. Hey, I can see it, though. And, you know, um, in my opinion, a Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat would just... It may seem a little differently, considering how differently aesthetic, this, the, differently in tone and aesthetics the games can be, though. But at the same time, they're two of the most iconic fighting game franchises of all time, though. So, in a way, it, it would make too much sense not to do it. Yeah. But, well, I mean, make, you've already had Tekken well, yeah, versus right. Street, Tekken Cross Street Fighter. They've already had, you know, some other characters uh, being a guest stars in, you know, Injustice 2. We just got Hellboy. We had, you know, the more, two Mortal Kombat characters, and now we got the Ninja Turtles, you know? Anything could happen. Yeah, I mean, I, again, anything can happen. If <laughs> we, live, we live in the year 2017, and <laughs> Cloud and Bayonetta are in Smash Brothers, which many and people Ryu. never... Th <laughs> yeah, and Ryu. The many characters people never thought would happen, happen. So, you know what? It's, in, it's endless possibilities. You can think of practically anything. And it's the and it's a century of never say never, you know. A lot of things happen, and that you would think never happened, but they did happen. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, but I guess that's the, I, that's the way it goes, though. You know. Yeah. All right. Well, th thank you for the answer there. Um, all right. The next one is, and this one's a bit more of a controversial question, though. But I figure I might as well ask that, though, since it seems like you have some knowledge on the subject, though. But what is your whole opinion when it comes down to the subject of the whole Smash is not a real fighting game compared to other traditional fighting games? What's your opinion on that subject? Um, well, I would always consider Smash Bros. still being a fighting game. I would think more of it as a party game, if anything, like a party fighting game or something, because it is for, like, uh, a f battle royal free-for-all match, you know? One versus one versus one, like four player matches and you got like two versus two and all that stuff mm -hmm. um uh it's it's very different from other fighting games definitely yeah but you know i still kind of consider you know smash brothers a fighting game but i consider it more of a party game because you know you can invite friends over it's like oh i got smash brothers for the nintendo 64 or like oh i got smash melee brawl uh smash 4 um on the wii u you know, we should all come together and play and all that stuff, you know, it's fun, you know, it's a really fun game, you know. Um, but yeah, I do consider it as a fighting game, but I more consider it as a party game in general because, you know, it's just one of those games where you just come together, you know, with friends 
or family. You all have fun and all that stuff, you know. It's just, I mean, the whole controversy about it, though, like, I mean, I don't really, really listen to the controversy at all, you know. I just, you know, have... I just have my own opinion about Smash Brothers. Okay, all right. It's nice to. All right. Well, thank you, though. It's nice to hear someone else's input on it. But okay, yeah. I mean, I won't give my input on that though because if and I keep this doing is coming that... from and this is coming from a Street Fighter guy right here, and you know, <laughs> exactly. just traditional fighting games. You know, uh, Smash Brothers is a fun game. It really is. You know, I happened to play it professionally back when in the Millie days, but. I retired because, you know, I just noticed that, you know, a lot of people take it seriously when they shouldn't because, you know, again, it's a party game and it's a it's a party game and people shouldn't take it too seriously. Yeah, like, I guess, you know, the whole, like, you know, fandom and, you know, all the tournament that's been going around and everything, you know, people should, just should just have fun with it. Not taking anything seriously, not getting mad with someone, not getting salty. Like that one uh, kid from Mexico throwing his controller oh at his God. cousin. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and just ejecting it out of the cane queue and scratching it on the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> just. I uh, love that video, to be yeah. honest. I, I hate to say it though, there's, there's points though where we have those moments though maybe not going as far as that kid though but we've had our shameful moments though i'm not gonna deny but I we've, guess we've had our moments especially knowing each other for quite a while you know with you know all of our other friends especially this this specific one um <coughs> okay. yeah <laughs> You can say that. Oh, well. But anyway, so okay. Thank you for giving your input on the subject, though. I won't give it. I won't give my input on it because the more I think about it, though, if I keep doing this, though, then it's becoming less of an interview about you and more of just me going off of what you have to say. Yeah. But oh well. Anyway, um, next question is though, and this is a bit more, and this is a bit more of a, I guess, personal one, subject-wise. But out of the various let's plays you've done overall on your channel. Which one would you have to say is your favorite? Um, my favorite Let's Play overall. Well, I've done so many. I've had a channel before the one I have now. I've done a lot of Let's Plays on my other channel, but sadly I deleted it, which I shouldn't have, but you know, it was kind of for the best, you know, kind of get that first start. But, um, actually, uh, my favorite Let's Play would have to be uh, Let's Play Aladdin. Aladdin on the, uh, oh, Aladdin on the Super Nintendo? Yes, uh, Super Nintendo, yeah, I it's just, that's a game, you know, I grew up playing as a kid, you know, I've, it's probably, you know, one of my favorites in Super Nintendo games and stuff, and, and um, I mean, I did it previously on my old channel, um, I have to say, actually, that one was kind of my favorite than the one that I did it on my current channel, because I did have you know, a friend do it with me uh, towards the end, but sadly I don't talk to that friend anymore due to uh, some reason, but I'm not going to go into full detail about it, but um, that's fine. Yeah, but um, it was it was still a good moment, you know, you know, and despite, you know, we don't talk anymore. I still respect her, you know. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean I personally don't have too much knowledge, though, on Aladdin on, on the Super Nintendo. I mean, the most knowledge I have, though, was that uh, <laughs> Irate Gamer review, and, uh, well, we oh, all know how amazing don't his listen to that. Be. Don't <laughs> listen to that wannabe. Oh, my God, dude. Despite what that, that, despite what that wannabe uh, has to say about that game, it's still an amazing game, honestly, you know. And when I did it again on my current channel, um, it was just, you know, it was a fun game, you know. And, you know, if I have to play it again, you know, I would play in the heartbeat and stuff if I had the chance to, you know. Um, okay. Kind of sad that they didn't include it in the current uh, mini Super Nintendo uh, console that they have. Um, but, you know, I mean, I guess I could just, you know, pick up an old Super Nintendo from my local retro store and probably pick up Aladdin, you know? Yeah, you're probably good. Well. I mean, you know. What, I mean, you know what? Hey, though, Aladdin is the most rare game out there, so by all means, go yeah. right ahead. Yeah. But oh well. Okay. Well, thank you for giving me that 
Uh, give me, wow, that was a really weird way to put it. Okay, thank you for giving me that knowledge. I am now going to go sell it on the internet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, um, all right, uh, next one is, um, I think you kind of already answered this one, though, before, though, but I guess I'm going to ask it in a different way. What have you uh -huh. learned when it, oh, sorry. What have you learned when it's, when it's come down to making videos on YouTube for the past six years or so? Um... Uh... For the past six years, how has it been? I mean, at the beginning of it, it was fun. It really has been. Um, I remember uh, I had, like, when I came back after having, like, a three-year hiatus back in, like, 2000. Uh, when I went on hiatus back in 2012 and then coming back in, um, back in 2015, um, you know, it's just been... It, it was fun, you know, it was fun doing Let's Plays again, but then, you know, of course, adulthood started catching up to me, that's why, you know, I really don't, I hardly, you know, upload anything, because, you know, I'm a father now, you know, and I do want to spend the time, as much time, you know, I have with my daughter, you know, before I go to work, or, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, so that's why, I, I mean, Towards the end of it, you know, I kind of like, kind of got frustrated because, you know, some of my save files that I had on the PS4, like, just deleted, like, out of nowhere, like, corrupted, Ooh. and, you know, yeah. Yeah, it was, it's a story. I remembered I had an update video about this, but, you know, I was currently doing Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum, you know, and, you know, I honestly have to say that um, that's actually going to be my second favorite Let's Play um, that I have done. But... Um, you know, I was done recording with everything, you know, I beat the level and everything, spoiler alert, the Joker turns into a giant monster, I beat that, um, and everything, uh, so, you know, I re-recorded everything, I did my commentary and everything, and I just had to say, ready for there to upload the last three episodes and stuff, but, um, my, me and my family have been planning this, um, uh, planning this, um, uh, family trip, uh, to Guatemala, um, since, you know, last Christmas, we left in March. I brought my PS4 with me because, you know, uh, I have a cousin down there who, you know, has, he's really into video games as well. She, he's also plays Smash Brothers. He's a, you know, professionally down there as well. I think he's ranked number two in that country, ranked rank number three, I believe. Oh, so yeah. He's just, yeah, he's really good. Oh. Um, but, um, yeah, I remember I brought my PS4, so, you know, kind of pity because video games over there are like hell of expensive they can hardly afford it and stuff and luckily you know i was able to like me and my family were able to provide money for them you know to be able to afford so you could afford you know those video games and stuff you know so i brought my ps4 you know we played some uh marvel's capcom we played like other games that i had and everything um so i mean of course you know they did have internet but it wasn't really that great so, you know, I, so I was like, all right, so I'll just upload it when you come back home. So it was two weeks later, we're back in the States, you know, and then, of course, the next day after we come back, because we didn't come home until, like, I don't know, like, three, maybe four in the morning and stuff. And then, like, I was like, okay, I'll just upload it tomorrow. So it was tomorrow, so I began to upload it, but it said that, oh, let me update my PS4 because it needs an update because, you know, I've been away out of, because it hasn't connected in the internet at all down there so i updated it went to upload it everything was gone and i was really mad and everything and what sucked about it too is that i no, no longer had that game because you know that's i've recorded everything so i just you know traded it to gamestop and everything because you know i needed the money so yeah oh, <laughs> I'm so, um, oh my yeah, god yeah everything was that's... just everything was just gone I was like, okay, I'll just make an update video explaining that I'm going to have to put this LP on hold. And it's still unfinished, you know, it's already gone through, like, it's already been on hold for, like, a year now, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel, so, I, yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that, man. I've, I've had the same thing, a similar thing happen to, to like, that. I, I've had a similar thing happen to me on my channel, and uh, it does not feel good, to say the least. Yeah. Yeah, it really doesn't. I've had that. I had this problem so many times as well with my other previous Let's Plays, especially for my old channel um, and stuff. And yeah, it had resulted me to put um, some Let's Plays on hold. Um, I also had a similar problem with when I Let's Played Strider for the PlayStation 4. 
Um, mm. But uh, I recently just got the game back, you know, since, you know, Black Friday, and you know, I did a lot of like shopping in the PlayStation Store, and luckily that game was on sale, so I got it again. So, you know, I just looking for the best time, you know, to, you know, uh, replay the first game, yay. <laughs> Even though, like, I beat that game for, like, I, I honestly, like, <sighs> I remember when the first game came out, I remember I beat it. I just kept playing it to the point where, like, I don't think I could no longer put past this game until, you know, they remade it and everything. So, you know, I was really interested in it again. And it's like, <laughs> oh, great, I have to go back to this game and beat everything. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it depends on, like, if you know if you know, your, know where to go, know what to do, you know, all that stuff, you'll be fine. You'll probably pass the game within, like, I don't know, four, maybe three hours and stuff so you know i'll be good but it's just that looking for better uh, i was um dealing with a lot of like because i had the ps4 i used to have was only 500 gigabytes so you know i really couldn't you know save a lot and you know how like new modern uh consoles require gigabytes on games now mm -hmm. so you know there was an issue with you know deleting it and up and just putting on a new game and delete this game i don't play anymore you know I was kind of having that issue, but luckily this Black Friday, you know, I was able to like, kind of, you know, have a have a memory update. You know, I just pretty much uh, traded in my 500 gigabyte PS4 for a one terabyte gig, uh, PS4. So you know, I'm really nice. happy about that. Just now, just looking for the right time to do it and having, you know, having not to like, you know, just the time, you know, to do yeah. it to re-record everything. But, uh, but yeah, but right now I'm on hiatus, you know, enjoying the fatherhood life um, and stuff. And, then, you know, when I do get the chance, you know, I'll start doing Let's Plays again. Um, won't be that long, you know, because I'm already having that second thoughts about, you know, the whole hiatus thing. Like I do want to re record, I do want to do Let's Plays again, but, you know, right now I can't because, you know, work and the baby and then pretty much chores and all that stuff. Okay, I see what you mean, but mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> maintaining maintaining a, con a consistent let's play schedule, uh, it's harder than it seems to be. But yeah, especially when you're an adult, it's a lot harder. You know, I remember when I first did this whole this hobby, which should be a hobby, and should, nobody should take this thing seriously, uh, saying that oh, it's my career, I make money out of that. You know, you're not going to get much out of it. You know, out of you know monetization and revenue and all that stuff. Unless you get uh, it lucky. Should just be, yeah, it should just be a hobby, you know. You know, enjoy it while it lasts, because you know, right now, <laughs> right now, I don't think. Right now, I'm I am trying to have the time for it, but I just can't find that time yet. <laughs> I see, I see what you mean. But oh well. Anyway, we should probably continue on ahead. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but we should probably continue on. All right, let's see. Everybody knows about the whole joke, though, about saying if you get married or you have kids, though, then there goes your free time. You can't do anything like that, though. But since you've already brought up, though, being a father and stuff like that, how has it been like for you for the first few months that's gone on, though? And how, what have you what have you experienced it from? Um, it's been a blessing. I could just say it has been a blessing, you know. Um, I just, you know, thank God, you know, for the blessing he has given the, the the blessing and the responsibility of being a father, you know. Um, I've, I've always wanted my kids. I just didn't think it was going to be so soon, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But um, it's so far, being a father, it's, it's hard work, you know. It's just adjusting that lifestyle that I had before, you know, with just the free time that I've always had, playing video games, watching TV, watching movies, you know, going out and everything. It's different now, you know. Because since you have a kid, you know, she, uh, the baby can't really do much. She can't, she can't like, you know, go out that much without getting sick. She can't go out that much, like in movie theater, because you know the speakers are too loud for her little ears and stuff like that. You know, um, it's just the adjustment of you know the whole thing. You know, it's very different, but you know, it's it's a uh, it's 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 oh, it's a. Uh, it's different, you know. It's I, all I can say is just it's different. It's different, but so far you said though that you're enjoy you're enjoying it so far. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. You know, I'm really am. You know, 
You just gotta, you know, enjoy the little things, pretty much. Yeah. Yes, I, okay. All right, thank you. All right. Well, okay. That's that's a lot more pleasant than I thought. I was that was more pleasant of an answer. <laughs> I thought than I thought I was gonna receive. Well, holy, well, what do you know? Well, hey guys, take. Well, hey guys, take a little oh, note. Okay. Uh, like the, when we're off the interview, I'm like, oh yeah, the whole the, the whole fatherhood thing. It's a nightmare. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was expecting an answer like that, though. Just, but, but you know what? Really, I'm glad for you. I'm really glad for you. Your take that that this is coming out for you so well that you're getting as much that you're you're getting as much out of it as you can. Yeah. I really that need works. to reword how I say these things, but you, you get what I mean. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, hey. My god, this is very unprofessional, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question I have for you is, uh, how was Outlast? <laughs> I, yeah, how was Outlast? Come on, don't dodge the question. How was Outlast? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, definitely scarier than Resident Evil, that's all I can say. <laughs> Uh, no, another... I mean, Outlast is literally revolutionized the whole horror genre, you know, it's, you know, it, it got, my, it got me off of my seat, you know, I remember I streamed the game, I even have the moment where I, <laughs> where DPW called me a scaredy cat. Sh shut up, DPW. <laughs> DPW is saying I'm a scary cat. <laughs> and I entered like a jump scare. I actually got scared and I was like, I really was a scary cat that day. <laughs> but um, no, it's a fun game, you know, it's a really scary game for sure you know it, it's gotten me a couple times and everything even the little part little jump scares have gotten me as well and stuff um it's just the end a spoiler alert the ending about how you know it's just all it has it wasn't really a match and it was just more like a research facility you know where they're testing the main character and stuff like that um and stuff it was like really confusing i'm like uh what's going on what is this place you know but, you know, I was all like, uh, I am confused. <laughs> but no, <clears throat> it was, uh, it was definitely fun, um, and stuff. I haven't played Whistleblower yet, but I have played the second one briefly, because it was my birthday, and my sister got me that game, especially Friday the 13th, and Ooh. stuff. I did play a little bit of, uh, Outlast 2, um, Outlast 2, uh, for me, it wasn't really that scary. I mean, that's just coming from... I mean, I'm, I may have not have gotten into the scarier part because, you know, again, I barely started playing the game. I think I'm past where you have to find some generator to activate some elevator and then you have to get away from some, like, monster, uh, some monster or something. Um, hopefully everyone knows what part I'm talking about, but yeah. Right now I'm at that part, but I really haven't been playing it that much because I've also playing uh, Battlefront 2. But I mean, overall, Outlast is definitely revolutionizes revolutionizes the horror genre, definitely. You know, since um, I would have to say Slenderman because Slenderman's gotten me pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, do what, what again? Whatever works for you works for you. But oh well. You're right. But hey, I'm glad I'm glad you came out of Outlast, getting <laughs> getting a great feeling from it. Because to me, that's that's what matters, though. Just getting a great feeling from a horror game. Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, next question, though. I, let's see. All right. This one's just more of a just random question, though. But um, during your let's play of Injustice Two, I noticed that you gave some backstory when it when it came down to some of the characters when they were introducing them during the story. Out of curiosity, though, do you have much? Have you read any of the DC? Sorry, have you read any of the DC comics revolving around um, injustice or anything like that? Uh, what do you mean, like the whole like injustice story or storyline, or the whole like, or just some of the characters in general? 
Uh, the Injustice storyline, though, because that was a really bad way to phrase it, though. But I noticed what, throughout the play, throughout the playthrough, though, you would always give them, you would always give a character a small description of what you knew about them during the playthrough. Um, I, the I've read the the comic, the storyline comic books of the first Injustice game. Um, a little bit. I really never didn't get too much far from it because, you know, um, I just didn't really have the time to read any of my comic books and stuff. I got a bunch of comics that I haven't read, actually, but um, before the whole Injustice, yes, I've been a big fan of the DC comics, you know, um, especially Batman. Batman is my favorite superhero of all time. Um, but, you know, yeah, I've had read some of the characters that were in the game. Um, besides Swamp Thing, uh, Dr. Faye, and uh, what other characters there that I just didn't re just didn't really interest me. Um, I think those are the only two, Dr. Fate and uh, Swamp Thing, really. I don't know. They didn't really interest me, but from, um, I, I mean, I, I mean, I know them briefly because I um, was from, is the part, is a member of the Justice League Dark, and, you know, I actually enjoy reading the Hellblazer series, you know, John Constantine and stuff, and everything. Um, Dr. Fate just really didn't interest me at all, I don't know why. I mean, he seems like a cool character, but I don't know, just really never interested me at all, especially in the Justice League uh, cartoon. Uh, he seemed pretty cool, but just really never caught my attention or something. He, even though some people say he's probably one of the strongest characters in the DC Comic Universe. But, I don't know, just really near interest me um, and stuff. I mean, when it comes to, like, like comic book games, I always like to give people, like, the backstories of a certain character, you know? And I especially did that with Let's Play Deadpool and Let's Play uh, Batman Returns, you know, give a little brief description about, you know, the Penguin and Catwoman. And then I've also, um, um, yeah pretty much, but other than that, uh, and just the storyline, the comic books, I read it briefly, I think I read it up to where Superman, spoiler Superman kills Green Arrow, I think everyone knows that since the first Injustice game, <laughs> but, um, alright, hmm. okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying okay, but, alright, well, thank you, I mean, I know it's I, 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 I worded that question a little awkwardly, though, but... Okay, I, I see what you mean. You see, you're already in... For the love of God, I need to think before I speak. Thank you for answering the question. Thank you. <laughs> it's I, fine. <laughs> for the love of me, I can't talk. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Anyway, then we come on to the last question, though, and this is a... <laughs> this is another bizarre question, though, but the question is... What is your favorite typo? Typo? Typo as in spelling error or a misspell or someone spelled oh, something but they didn't oh, say it right. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, there's a couple times where I <laughs> where uh, I'd uh, put the F word in some of my uh, typing the F word, but it said it put stuck. <laughs> like stuck? what the duck? <laughs> my oh, some of my cousins would be like, what? I was all like. I was all like, what do you mean, duck? I'm like, wait, what? Oh, I look back at it, I'm like, oh, freaking freaking spelling it. Oh, uh, autocorrect. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that, that has to be my favorite word, like, what the duck, you know? It just kind of throws people off or something. <laughs> oh, my God. I imagine, though, it's just probably the most awkward thing to ever receive. What the duck? Wait, duck? I thought we were, duck? I thought we were talking about... Never mind. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, that was the last question I had for you. Um, thank you for giving... Uh, for the love of God, I need to prepare for these things. Thank you for your time, ESPN. Um, I've, um, do you have anything else you, need, you would like to say before we click off? Um, well, you know, enjoy life. And, you know, fight on. <laughs> there you go. Fight on. All right. <laughs> Words of wisdom right then and there. <laughs> All right, say bye to everyone. Like this is a children's program. All right, All right bye everyone. Nice bye. talk. Nice. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed this.
And don't forget to check out my channel. You know, it'll be in the link in the bottom below, wherever he puts it at. Probably around, around the screen or somewhere. Uh, okay, a link to your channel. Do you have any social media that you want me to put down or anything like that? I, uh, I don't really don't use the social media parts that much, which I should. I mean, I do have a Facebook, but I don't really use it that much. All right. Okay, that, that's one thing to consider, I guess. But oh well. Anyway, ready to ready to sign off. Any last words? Um. Well, yeah. Just thank you for guys. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. You know, hopefully everyone enjoyed, and you know, hopefully I didn't confuse a lot of people. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's okay. If you, if you come in to watch one of my videos, you're probably be, will probably be confused anyway. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> Never been confused, especially the Smash videos. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh well. Anyway, take care everyone. Alright, later everyone. Thank you guys. Okay, uh, next question is, you already kind of brought up this one though, but again, this one's a bit more of a personal question, but um, everybody all, a lot of people, you know, knows the whole, no, it's like, <laughs> let me restart that. <laughs> All right, so uh, next question though. Oh god, this is this is more of a silly question, but anyway, um, actually, never mind. Uh, uh, restart. Okay. All right, this one is a bit more of a personal. One. Okay, not personal. The, oh my god, I need to edit this part out. Friend like was like I guess already beat like the whole game, so that she let like he would always recommend. Oh, play this level. Oh, you should play this level. Or oh something. my god. <laughs> so. Wait, did she describe what she was having <laughs> troubles with, though? Because, oh my goodness. Yeah, like, she was all like, oh my god, this boss is so hard. Like, I think it was like a, I think it was a boss. I forgot what boss was it. It was like, it looked like a, I think like a giant, some giant, I forgot what a animal it was. Animal. Uh, let's see, there's a few animals. Was it a, mo was it a mouse and cat? Yes. That was yes, that it was oh, that okay. one. Okay, I can see what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, like oh my god, I can't beat this level. And the boyfriend, okay, okay, try it. Okay, just just exit out of that level. Try this one. <laughs> you should have told her about the charge shot. That 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 power up is a little overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> overpowered. You should see Mega oh my Man. God. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about overpowered in Mega Man? Oh, look no further than that. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> I think the most overpowered. Um, okay, I'm the sorry. Most overpowered. Um, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I already have the thing recording right now, so I don't know. I think the. Uh, I, you could do like a behind the scenes yeah. on there or something. Anyway, go ahead. What were you saying? I I think the most overpowered um uh power up from Mega Man um and. I think, I don't know, I would have to always, I mean, I was never, I never really played much of the Mega Man series besides the Mega Man X, besides the X series, like I played all the X series games. Um, I think in Mega Man X1, I think the most overpowered but so useful, so like beautiful uh, power is the um, Storm Eagles, uh, uh, what's it called, the Tornado? tornado i forgot the, the tornado that kind of like you know like you shoot and like when you uh char when you charge shot it it becomes like a giant like the uh, the tornado just pretty much like stands up itself i, I don't know <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain like it like tornado? i'm looking yeah. up uh, Mega man <laughs> x tornado uh storm tornado is that what's called yeah, okay. storm tornado. Yeah, storm tornado. That's it. You shoot it, and it's like the the tornado is like on an angle. But when you charge shot it, like it stands up just like a regular tornado. It's just oh my uh. god, so sweet. But I just think that's the most overpowered uh, uh, power up. Uh, in the I game. gotcha. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. I, I, my apologies. I kind of cheated when looking that up, though. But hey, you know what? Whatever works works, I guess. But hey, do what if. <laughs> If, if Storm Tornado right? is going to help you out, then you might as well utilize it. I mean, Mega Man X, from what I've heard, is not the easiest Mega Man game, so if you're going to get something overpowered, take advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, 
Mega Man X series is a good series, you know, it's honestly my favorite series in the whole Mega Man X game and the Mega Man games and stuff. Though after the like once uh X six came out, out the M X six was just the worst Mega Man X game in the series. It's just after that. X seven was okay, you know, but still had some had its problems and stuff. But X eight was definitely, you know, you know, the step up, like the redeeming of the whole series and stuff. And it's just surprisingly like how it ended. Like you would think they had like an X nine or something, but no. Never happened. We never had any uh, X games after that. And you know, now that Capcom has already, you know, put Mega Man X, Zero and Sigma pretty much like the whole focus is the X series and the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. You would think they moved they're probably developing an X9 you by think, now, you know? Uh, or maybe their excuse is Infinite is Mega Man X9. Yeah, like, they just... Or maybe they just, like, you know what? You know, a lot of... We need, we, 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 we're losing money on all the other games. We need to do something. What should we do? It's like, oh, just put Mega Man and uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite like the fans wanted from, the, from, Mega, from Marvel's Capcom 3. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea, so let's do it. So, that's how we got... The whole uh, X uh, series focus so. on the game. I don't know. Marvel, Marvel Infinite, it did some weird things though, but it, it, one of the few things, in my opinion, it did right though was it made, it gave some tribute to Mega Man, even if it wasn't much. Yeah. Yeah, it did. But oh well. Anyway, I think we're getting a little off topic. Ready for the interview? Yes, I am. Alright, let me get into focus. Alright, how did I do the thing last time? Alright. Get ready for multiple fail takes. Alright. Okay. 